film Trioch Minuta. Vinimanje, vinimanje. Svijen čilenom slavnova za obšesta i bitili kino. Zabšajo a nova direktiva a pres modre kino filma a tadajaša Andreja Končolovskova. Kaseltina incidenta Nova Čakerska. 1960 v tarom gado. Oficialna vizija nepartiva. Nove efekte trevožne posmota kino lente oba zajtiljen. Ima filma Dragi tavariše. A masterful dramatization of a tragic real-life event from recent history, directed with an uncompromising brutality that hauntingly reminds us just how far the powers that be will go to cover up the truth. Set during the Cold War in the industrial Russian city of Novocherkask in the Soviet Union, the story follows fictional character Ludmila Siomina, a devoted Communist Party apparatchik who works on the city's central committee, where tensions are running high due to strained food prices. And when said prices are raised once more, workers at the city's locomotive plant go on strike and stage protests, drawing the ire and then fury of the local and national government, which leads to the horrific massacre of dozens of people at the hands of internal troops of the Soviet regime, one body of which is believed to be Ludmila's daughter. Striving to recreate as close to historical authenticity as possible to Soviet films from the 1960s, director Konchalovsky shoots Dear Comrades in black and white, using a 1 by 33 aspect ratio commonly used during the period. This cinematography by Andrei Nadinov paints for us a moral canvas filled with shades of grey. The camera is kept static, unaided by stylized editing or music, but quickly acts like a foreign observer that quietly can condemns the guilty individuals with their own words and actions, exposing the contradictions of this brutal system and the demands it places on even those most loyal to it. Contradictions that are slowly pulled apart thanks to the captivating performances of Julia Vysotkaya as Lyudmila and Andrei Gusev as a hard-nosed KGB operative turned sympathetic fellow traveller. Lyudmila's slow burn realisation that the state she had dedicated her life towards acted so appalling appallingly in covering up the massacre it caused is heartbreaking to witness. The official investigation into the massacre didn't occur until 30 years later, when many of the key decision-making people had already died and escaped justice. However, thanks to Konchalovsky's efforts, Dear Comrades acts as a kind of cinematic glasnost for recent history, immortalizing the souls buried by a callous, sinister system. Souls not dissimilar from you or I, good people who fought for a better deal, good citizens who demanded justice, and good comrades who kept the memory of the dead alive.